long as you said that we had lots of snow on the mountain right now this weekend, I wasn't listening to weather because we were actually just talking about the ski uh, show that's coming up uh, at the uh, CE Centre, the Ski, Snowboard and Travel Show. Uh, joining us from the Snowhawk Ski and Snowboard School, uh, Harvey Broadkin, great to have you here. It's great to be here. And as I'm learning, you actually were a part of the first one to ever hit the capital and you've been with them ever since. That's right. I've grown up, uh, Snowhawks has grown up with the ski show. It uh, started 26 years ago. And we've watched the show develop. It's a wonderful time of year because it means that ski season, yeah. snowboarding is on the way. It's right around the corner. I think people are right now gear getting geared up in terms of uh, getting themselves ready, getting the equipment back and tuned and yep. swapped. What can people expect at this show? The show is a great way to start the season, uh, particularly equipment, because uh, there's a huge ski swap available. A lot of people bring their stuff in. It, it happens today, actually, from 12 to 7 p.m. at the back of the CE Centre. You drive up drop your stuff off, it can be sold, and then uh, from 10 to 5 on Saturday, Sunday, people can choose from a wide range of used equipment, and there's plenty of people there to help with the fitting and sizing. Uh, and are you looking, I mean, there's there's one thing to swap skis from back from the 1980s. Yeah. You're, it's not even safe anymore, pretty much, no. to, to be, be out there. What are you e looking for? Every year, people show up at the swap with the old straight-edge skis, and they, they those go are to best. the museum. <laughs> no, uh, garbage, uh, picket fence, yeah. yeah, bench, make a bench. <laughs> Uh, no, there's a lot of uh, new shaped equipment. It comes in different contours, different shapes. I brought a few examples here of different shapes of ski. And again, any good shop uh, can help you with that. And at the ski show, there's an opportunity to buy new at terrific prices, deeply discounted. It is amazing to see where the equipment has gone. Uh, you're at the show and a lot of people looking for places to go. I do want to hit on your school because it's sure. really unique. Uh, and I think uh, opens up a lot of opportunity for parents, for their kids, as well yes. as adults looking to travel. Exactly. Well, we started with the ski show 26 years ago. Snowhawks is like a traveling day camp on skis or on snowboard. So we pick up kids on Saturdays or Sundays in different neighborhoods all around Ottawa on Greyhound Coach, pop a movie in, they relax, we head up to the hills, and we have our own team of instructors. So it gives them the opportunity to ski at different centers here in the Udaway, like Cascade or Vorlage or St. Marie, we head up to Tremblant and Sever and Mont Blanc and the Laurentians, and yet they have the same instructor and the same kids, and there's a social and fun aspect to it as well. It sounds amazing, and yeah. then also for those that might want to play hooky or who are kind of enjoying their days, on yeah. Wednesdays you actually do it for adults. Wednesdays, and it actually grew out of the kids' program. The parents said, the kids are having all the fun, we want to go too. And we started uh, in 1996, an adult program, six Wednesdays, and it goes to Mont Blanc, Sever, and Tremblant, the Laurentians twice each so How if you awesome. want to play you get hooky, on a bus you don't have to do all the driving the crazy driving uh, heading up you do a little coffee and tea on the ride up wine and cheese on the way home great skiing in between it's a great day what a fantastic uh, great uh, concept and so I'm glad that the business is doing well and it's been kids growing up that are now your instructors or exactly. and, and vice versa I do want to hit on this because you have brought a couple of examples for us a lot of parents looking to get their key kids out yes. and it can be unbelievably frustrating yes. uh, and it can also be a slightly dangerous you want to be able to say here's how to do it exactly as a professional instructor uh, I recommend everyone whether an adult and particularly children get started with a lesson learn right from the start um, for the very young uh, age starting even at age two two and a half a short time 45 minutes an hour on the hill a little private or semi-private lesson a lot of the local hills um, have programs available or privates and that's a good way to get a youngster started just for a short period of time really? um, can we talk about this if you yeah. have one tip that to share with people I brought my hula hoop because it's a great prop um, I see a lot of people and it frightens me out on the hill with a youngster between their legs uh, a little bit of ice, a little bit of slick snow, they can fall and hurt the child. It's not a safe way to get a kid going. We use hula hoops and uh, the child is holding on to it and one can hold it from behind and let the child steer down the hill or slide around and ski down backwards holding them and talking to them and encouraging them and it makes it a lot of fun for them as well and it's a lot safer. Uh, great information. There's a ton of it uh, this weekend at the CE Centre. The swap, as you mentioned, gets underway at 12 today, and that'll run right through until the weekend. That'll, well, yeah, you can buy through, through the weekend. Also, do visit the show to check out all the local resorts. Many of the tour operators and travel destinations are there. You can plan for your winter trip or even next year's. A lot of the ski clubs, like Snowhawks and others, are there to uh, join a club and get traveling. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. Wonderful show. It is an amazing Canadian sport, too. If your kids aren't into the hockey uh, and, and you want that Canadiana feel, skiing is definitely the way you want to go. Thanks, and best of luck with the rest You're of, uh, of the show. You're welcome.